shalt not kill. That's what our Lord says. Thou shalt not kill. It's all just a bunch of lies anyway. Trust me. I'm a good example. I've never considered myself to be someone special or different. In fact, I'm a regular guy. Same as you, or anybody else. And before you judge me and label me, please, let me just say that I love my life. I'm what you would call an introvert person. I like to observe. This actually where I got my first nickname. Weirdo. Because they said I, I stared a lot. Even my mum used to call me it sometimes. She said I never cried when I was born, that every baby cries, but I didn't. For a long time, I really thought I was weird. But then, I realised that I'm not really much different from anybody else, actually. What I find weird, however, people don't ask questions anymore. People seem to focus on dreams, idealisms, and some futuristic, more successful version of them. People want to become icons, symbols of success. People want things, things they don't need, things which are not valuable to their lives at all. A house, money, private jet, a cottage, a pet. What happens to your house when you die? Someone else gets it. What happens to your money? Someone else will get it. These things don't matter. People don't seem to understand that. So what is the thing you truly own? The only thing that is yours and no one else's? It's life. Of course. Your life. You have been given a right to exist. There is no doubt. The question is, what else is really important? No matter what you achieve, how many kids you raise, it's all gone when you die and your kids will die too one day. So what is the most important fact in your life? Something inevitable, something what everyone goes through. It's death. Death is the only thing you can be sure about. The only path we all have to take, no matter what we are, where we live, what times we live in, we are all going to die one day. But do we know anything about death? What is death? 
How do we actually die? Of course, doctors would say first stage, known as clinical death occurs when a person's heart stops beating. About four to six minutes later, brain cells start to die from the loss of oxygen and biological death occurs. Death is the permanent end of the life of a biological organism. What about spiritual death? Is there something like it? What do we feel when we die? Does our spirit even die? Is there a possibility that there is an afterlife? Of course, in that time I wasn't fully aware. I was just a, a curious, antisocial kid, still having a little bit of faith in humanity. But then something strange happened. Let me give you a question. What if we had a consciousness right from the moment we were born? What if we remembered being born without any influence, without knowledge or intelligence? What would we feel in that very first moment? What would we know? Would we all feel the same thing? Would we all be aware of the same fact? The fact that if there is a beginning, there has to be an end as well. Dying is the most natural thing. Same as being born. So why are we still not able to accept that? We put values into things. It was us who said that money is important, that family matters, that murder is a sin. And we've created a system of rules that we call the law. None of that matters because we're all going to die and that is the only fact that matters. The moment of dying is the only moment where we are able to give up everything we know, our jobs, our families, ourselves. And right at that moment, we are finally able to truly experience without any influence of our mind. In that moment, we get to see exactly what we are. I started reading books about death. I learned that I was not the only one obsessed about that moment of dying. I tried different meditations. They say that it's the best way to clear your consciousness, but I knew that this was not really what I was looking for. I knew that there was, there was only one way to find out. That's why I killed him. Even though it didn't quite work out. Why the fuck are you following me? What, you, you want to try and rob me, you prick? Get lost, you fucking weirdo.
Thou shalt not kill. Yes, Ten Commandments. The same Ten Commandments that says, Thou shalt have no other God before me. And that's the very first one, if you ask me. It's very confusing. Is that proof that, that our God is not the only God? If it is, how could we trust in his words? How could we say that his words are true? If God is not a single, the most powerful entity, well, there is no ultimate truth either. What is true anyway? We blindly accept to listen to our God without daring to question his word. But what if there is another God who says that murder is okay, but lying is not, and it's okay for me to kill you if you lie? Would you worship this God? No, I thought so. There is no God. Faith is just another lie, a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's all a lie. That is why I don't feel guilty. I haven't seen anything. I was looking right into his eye, fully accepting the fact that I took his life, ready to spend the rest of my life in regrets, and I haven't seen anything. I want to know, I need to know, but I haven't felt anything like that. I haven't seen anything to near what I was looking for. The only thing I've seen was fear, anger, confusion, sadness. People are not willing to accept death even though they know it is the only way. People refuse death. I have to know, there has to be something more. This can't be all. Our pathetic lives we live in, there is no God. He refused watching us a long time ago, let me tell you, and I refuse to be a part of this. I'm ready now. I'm ready to discover myself, to become nothing more than my soul, to give up everything I don't need, to be free. I am ready to die, to learn how to live. There should be no sadness. This is my choice, the only path I am supposed to take. And it's no one else's life. It's only mine. I am taking my life to discover the ultimate truth. The meaning of life, if you want to call it that way. And if there is no such thing and only darkness, well, at least I would die in peace, knowing I've come this far. I need to know. As I said, we're all going to die one day anyway. Please. Accept this message as my explanation and full confession. I've never considered myself to be someone special or different. In fact, I am just a regular guy, same as you or anybody else. And before you judge me and label me, please let me just say that I love my life. I know this all was for something. My meaning of life is to get to understand it, to try to make you understand me. I cannot say if I was right. I cannot say I was wrong either. But I did ask questions. 